Hey, welcome to the White Glove Strategic Guesting System. I'm Tiffany Younger and I created this system about seven years ago. I started building what has now become this incredibly robust system to bring on the very best guests. I really needed a way to invite them onto my podcasts and treat them amazing, get them prepared so that when they arrived in front of the microphone, they felt comfortable, they knew what to expect, we had a great interview, and then from then, they still got followed up with. So in the beginning, I built it on about eight or nine different software. And you know, as you can only imagine, it was super cumbersome, very expensive. That system has always been like a person on my team. The things that it does, the things that it makes easy, the things it reminds me and makes it easy for me to do has been incredible. I'm super happy that now we can put it all on one piece of software and continually improve it. Right now, I just wanna give you a quick overview. You go into automation and then click on Hostmaster White Glove Strategic Guesting. You can see the stages and I'll talk about stage zero here in a minute, but uh, stage one is anyone who is a potential guest that is not expecting an invitation for you to interview them. So around here, we talk a lot about intentional networking, about who do I need to meet. And stage one is really about empowering yourself to get in touch with those people. So being having you and your team be really proactive about bringing those people into your life. This is stage one. So they just have no idea that you're going to invite them to your show. As soon as you get any kind of interest from someone or, you know, let's say you're out and about at an event and you're like, oh my gosh, I want you on my show. Stage two is all about that. Or if in stage one, you know, emails go out in stage one, but then everyone's, well, there's a phone call. And if someone, you know, if your team is given those phone calls, making those phone calls, getting the appointment set, then the person's like, hey, I don't remember getting any emails from you. Can you please just send me more information? then your team simply puts that person into stage two and they get that uh, additional information that they're looking for. So the emails are really geared for people who are expecting to do the number one goal, which is to fill out the intake form. So stage one, stage two, it's all about getting the intake form filled out. So what is the intake form? The intake form is where you gather information about potential guests. So as you're inviting them, you want them to fill this out. You get their bio, their photo, their social media information, some background information as far as what kind of value they're gonna be bringing to your audience and how you can help them as well and what they can get out of it. You also are going to be use it, using this as an application and vetting process. And so regardless of which stage they come into, they, they'll be filling out this intake form and then your team will be getting notifications to vet them, say yes or no, if it's a no, then they get a polite you know, email that, sorry, it's not a good fit. As soon as they submit that intake form and then you vet them and you say, yes, this is someone I want, then they go into stage three, which is when the intake form is submitted. And the goal there is to get them to book the appointment. So they get an email saying, hey, this is so great. We're so excited to have you on our show. You know, Please use this link and book your interview with me. As soon as they book it, then they go into stage four where the podcast interview is scheduled. They get the follow-up reminders. They get a list of ways to prepare for the interview, what to expect. As soon as the interview is completed, you as the host will get a, a notification asking or urging you to change the status of the appointment. If the guest showed they get put into stage five if they were a no show then there's a sequence to ask you as the host and you know anyone else on your team that is helping you with this if you would like to try to reschedule this appointment and then then there is what we call stage 5.10 5.01 which is the second chance scheduling a stage so again no matter what happens there's all these different things that happen as a show is running and and you have guests we're, we're really heading off any times that you might have to sit and think about what to write as an email. These stages really help just keep people moving through that whole process really quickly and efficiently. Stage six is when the release date is set. So you've had your interview, you've you know marked them, showed or no showed. They get a thank you email if they showed up. 
And then as your team is processing the podcast, then they're going to enter into that contact information what day that episode is going to air. As soon as that is scheduled, the guest receives an email saying, hey, we just scheduled the day that your interview is gonna air. In stage seven, the episode is released. They get an email saying, hey, it just came out. Make sure you go to listen to it. Here's a link to, you know, like and follow our podcast. Also, there is opportunity, and we'll talk about this later in the modules, that you can share a link to a folder with content with that guest. You can create some synergy with them cross-promoting it as well. One big complaint I get from podcasters is that guests don't share and you know talk more about their podcast episodes online. Well, providing them with some of this content, these videos, you know, quote images, you know, different types of media, and then whatever you're using, put it into a folder that is shareable, share it with a guest, and then it makes it really, really easy for their team to talk more about it on social media. Then that's it. Those are the stages. I'm so excited to see what you do with them.